Uh, members, this is a split call. Lima Miniti, Kakaranga Hau Kia Koe, Tim Vendamolan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. King Ahapu, Nafanu, Ona Uri, Ahitanga Toma, Tomatea, No Mai Kitene Fori. As a new member to this House, this is my first opportunity to speak on a treaty settlement bill. And I am both excited and, and I admit somewhat nervous taking this opportunity. But I would just like to start by acknowledging the importance of gaining closure in these matters for both Heritanga Tamatea and indeed for all New Zealanders. I'd like to also uh, claim a link, if I may, through my own history as a member of Ngāti Tumatawinga, and which I believe is shared by many members of Heritanga Tamatea. But also a shared link through, I believe, a shared desire to strive for a better future for all of our tamariki. I'd like to acknowledge the commitment from the former minister, the Honourable Christopher Finlayson, with the many years of hard work he has put into treaty negotiations under the former government, and of course to the current minister, the Honourable Andrew Little, for picking up the baton, as it were, and continuing with this work. As I mentioned, I value the opportunity to improve relations between Crown and this hapu. And what we've seen through the settlement, obviously there's an element of financial reparation within that, and, and I'd just like to acknowledge that whilst that's an important part, money actually doesn't heal the emotional harm that is carried by people in these situations. But actually it does provide opportunity to grow, to develop, and hopefully to flourish. <clears throat> One area that I think needs to be touched on again and has actually been touched on by most speakers is, is the Glasgow leases, and, and in particular around TOT College. Now, those leases are a model that was put in place many, many years ago, and at the time perhaps that was the most appropriate model. The current set up that we have in terms of operational lease agreements for land is somewhat more advanced and, and I would certainly look forward to exploring a more appropriate solution in the future in that regard. And just touching on the college actually, it's fantastic to see some of the fine students that have come from that establishment and I just wanted to in particular mention one of those today. Second Lieutenant Timuana Nui Akiwa Narimu, VC. Having served as an intelligence officer in the New Zealand Army during the Second World War, I have a particular affinity having served uh, as not an intelligence officer but an infantry officer. Um, it was encouraging to see and to learn about his story. He was in command of a platoon in C Company of the Maori Battalion, having been uh, shifted sideways from an intelligence officer role into that, and was involved in the action at Tabaga Gap in March 1943. Now, unfortunately, he died in service in that particular offensive and subsequently defensive action. But I just wanted to share the citation uh, given with his posthumous Victoria Cross. He led his men with great determination and skill straight up the face of the hill, undeterred by the intense mortar and machine gun fire, which caused considerable casualties. Displaying courage and leadership of the highest order, he was himself first on the hill crest, personally annihilating at least two enemy machine gun posts. And he was, it's important to note, the first Maori to receive the Victoria Cross. And, and I make this connection because I believe that strength, that determination, that courage he showed represents some of the shared values that are present in this agreement and indeed outline some of the importance around freedom, around opportunity, loyalty and family, areas that are shared on this side of the House and indeed by all members of the House, I am sure, and values that have underpinned negotiations between the Crown and Heritonga Tomatea. So it's encouraging to see this now progressing through final stages in the House, and I wish 
Peritonga Tamatea all the best for their future. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Uh, Simeon Brown. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Kinahapu na fano o na uri.